Hi, welcome to Tailgate Talks at Farmers Co-op Society. My name is Eric Herter. I'm an agronomist at Farmers Co-op Society, and this is Jim McDermott. He's a technical agronomist for DeKalb Asgrow. Welcome, Jim. Thanks, Eric. Glad to be here. Well, Jim, we're here to talk a little bit about DeKalb Asgrow. Maybe a couple things you saw this year, or some new things coming down the pipeline, maybe, or anything different you've seen. Sure. Well, it's exciting time with DeKalb and Asgrow right now. Um, especially some of the things we have coming for next year. Uh, one would be on the uh, rootworm front. Uh, boy, as you well know, Eric, it's been a heck of a heavy year for corn rootworm. Uh, I think the dry, the dry conditions in June was a big factor with that. We had a very high rootworm hatch. And of course, the last few years, I think we've seen these populations build. Uh, but for next year, we do have a new technology coming called SmartStacks Pro. And uh, this is gonna be a great tool in battling rootworm pressure. This SmartStax Pro uh, has the current BT proteins that are found in SmartStax with the addition of a new technology called RNAi or ribonucleic acid interference method. So gives a complete new mode of action, Eric, against rootworm that uh, they've never seen. Uh, so this is gonna be a great tool to use in some of these uh, uh, fields where we've had some rootworm challenges over the last few years. Another thing that we have coming, uh, really we'll have some seed out for next year, is what we refer to as the smart corn system, or short statured corn. Uh, so this is uh, corn that, uh, as you can imagine, is just shorter, uh, increased standability, gives us a chance to get the same yield, uh, but have a shorter corn that uh, we're able to not only have the increased standability from the roots and stalks, but we're also able to manage in season much better. Uh, in other words, we can go in uh, with a eggy or some sort of uh, spray equipment uh, in season for fungicide or insecticide or even side dress applications. So we're really looking forward to having that as a option uh, coming down the road with the cow. And with that, it increases standability. The short plant's a little shorter as the nodes are a little closer together, thicker stalk, the roots are bigger. It's just it's a nice way of doing it. If you don't need silage, it's probably not the best option for silage, but but still give you a flexibility there with that. Absolutely, yeah, not gonna fit every acre, but I think we're gonna see a, a high demand. Um, we actually introduced short corn in Mexico a couple of years ago, and it's going over very well, um, but I think it's gonna have a, a nice fit, um, you know, especially in some of these fields where there's been standability issues in the past. All right, Jim, down to the tough question. If you picked one hybrid of corn and a variety of soybeans to pick on for your farm in this area, what would you choose? Well, I guess for corn, and first of all, that's always the toughest question, Eric. That's trying to pick which of my kids are the favorite. <laughs> but uh, uh, since you're asking, I guess this hybrid right behind me here, the DKC5981, which is a smart stacks. It's got a, a double crow counterpart, DKC5982. Uh, that would be one of my top picks for corn hybrids, especially with its ability to fit the broad acre go a lot of, over a lot of different ground, be it heavier ground or be it light ground, very versatile hybrid, uh, both for grain as well as silage and earlage. On the soybean side, if you're at, asking me to pick one, uh, probably uh, the AG21XFO, uh, another very versatile product, uh, excellent disease package, but also top end yield potential. Uh, so really that's one of the products that uh, I really like for this area. And I've seen that 5981 last year, so this is its second year coming out, right? Yep. yep. And uh, it was really good last year. I know it was one of the top yielders in our area, so that's, yeah, I agree. That's a nice hybrid right there. So. Yeah, it's got a proven track record, and uh, uh, we really like what it's done right here uh, in northwest Iowa. Well, Jim, appreciate the time. Thanks for coming out to do this with us. If you have any more questions, contact your local FCS agronomist, uh, the link below probably. Uh, we'll take you to the website to find out where you can find your local FCS agronomist. Thanks for joining us and have a good day. Thank you. Hi, welcome to <laughs> Failgate Talks. Fail. Welcome, Jim. Thanks, Eric. Glad to be here. Nah, good enough. Good enough. You can pause it now. Or, yeah, okay.